Hi, and uh, welcome to my test of the um, AMD to DLSS frame gen injecting mod. Uh, that's found on Nexus Mods. I'll link it in the description for those that are interested. But basically, uh, what it does is it puts the AMD version of frame gen into the NVIDIA version option. Uh, but also enables it for 20 series and 30 series generation cards. It's not just the 40 series. Uh, I'm personally using it on a 4090 uh, just for testing. But basically, a quick synopsis is the frame gen on um, un Unreal Engine for this game has been notoriously twitchy since launch and still is. Uh, it can cause game crashes and such. So despite looking amazing and running very well indeed, it just causes too many crashes to the desktop for my like so I, I was forced to play the game in native resolution and obviously you get the frame rate hit so it's like ah. Eh. anyway i thought i'd give this mod a try because people are saying it's decent so i've put it in it's fairly straightforward you just uh plop the dll folders uh contents in, into your uh, games where it is uh, obviously with this being unreal engine it'd be like the shooter game subfolders for the game and you run a, a reg mod that disables NVIDIA checking the file for verification because obviously it's not a true NVIDIA file, it's modded. And when you finish with it, you can disable it so it re enables. So it, it comes multiple, you know, just a couple of clicks and you're done. Anyway, so for testing purposes, this is the settings I normally play the game on. So it's pretty much everything on. Uh, although I do prefer my foliage on low because. Basically, if you drop stuff in deep grass and that, you can't find it without it, and it still looks amazing. So that's that's the only caveat I go with. Um, now, when you enable the mod, you're basically just pretending you're turning the NVIDIA version on, but it's actually running off the AMD version in the background. Uh, so it's there's no hassle setting it, setting it up. I don't know if the super resolution quality settings make much difference. I don't think DLL A is available in this mode because it's it's not an nvidia bit but generally should work off these settings anyway we'll go into a game i've got uh, so at the minute as you can see there was running like 40s and 50s in the menu which would be like pretty much what the native uh, performance would be if you were playing with the mod off now it's jumping up there sort of like the 70s there which is like a decent, a decent jump. Like I say, you won't always see like silly sort of like, you know, 100 frame pluses and such, but you might in certain circumstances, but I mean, it got a lot of uh, stuff rendering there. Now, obviously you can still do your favorite things like, uh, you know, disable your volumetric cloud, which I think I did. I'll do a cock up and press. There we go. Right. So there we go, that's added a bit of performance jump straight away, as you can see. Again, clouds do the matter, uh, they look pretty, they affect the lighting sh shadows a bit, but yeah, it's not something I care about to be fair. Draw the extra 20 frames. Uh, likewise, the same with the fog. The fog is more useful like on long distance when you're looking into the jungle, there you get a bit like a foggy haze. To me with it off, it's generally better because it's a bit sharper. But as you can see, just doing them a couple of clicks, and like I say, if I pause it, so we're on about 100 there, pause it, it'll drop back to non frame gen mode. So you're in your 60s, so it's worth about 40 frames. That's decent push, and you know, 35 40 frames is a, is a goal worth having for minimum effort. Now, like I say, this is a, this is a slightly modded server, but I haven't got too much going on, but I have got like. Uh, double spawn rates of tons of beasties floating around so you may find your performance is better again I'm just running it because I can't um, as you can see there's no like performance real issues there like I say it's twitching on around 100 now if I use the native Nvidia version of frame gen it would probably get similar results but like I say it would crash the game more frequently so that's why I've decided to try this mod out I've had it running for about an hour with a straight test before I had any issues, but I think the issue was more related to me trying to set up the OBS on the wrong settings and uh, 
I think it clashed with it, but at the minute it seems to be working quite fine. So even if I'm like getting four times longer before a crash, assuming that was the, the real cause, um, not glitching the actual compatibility, then I'm fine with that. There will be obviously updates to this mod on the uh, Nexus uh, site, as, as uh, you'd expect, because there will be some little glitches or cores or improvements. Maybe there'll be future options to like add more quality options or maybe there's even a native mode without scaling. Who knows? But anyway, for now, to me, that's running slab on. No bother at all. And if I turn, like I say, if I turn the menu back on, it'll drop back to realistic mode. If I disable the RTX options entirely, that should be sort of more down to your actual native resolution. There you go. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't It was far off. It was a couple of frames, no major. So yeah. Hitting the 60 plus. You know, it, yeah, occasionally it'll hit like the 40. So even on a 49, it'll... Uh, Turn it down there, it just depends on what happened. There we go, 47 there. Um, so, yeah, I would I think uh, most people would agree that uh, the native performance of like 50s and 60s going up the like 80s and such, even 100 at a time, or even over 100, depending on what you're doing, for free, kind of grumble at that. So, I'll give it a, give it a go, I'll put the link in, in the mod and uh, see what you think. Feedback uh, if you have uh, any similar thoughts on the ideas, or and as, as far as I'm aware, you can also use this mod for multiple games. It's not just for Argon. I've heard of people using it for Cyberpunk as well, which is uh, another showcase game for PC owners where performance was a bit sucky, and so you had like a monster rig like mine. Anyway, enjoy.